Hi, I'm Reggie Witherspoon. I'm the head men's basketball coach at the University at Buffalo. You know, I think we're going through stages of development, particularly at the offensive end. You know, it, it requires a great deal of concentration for us to be successful uh, at both ends and in the areas of rebounding and the, in, in those things. We've been challenged. Uh, we can, you know, find the areas that we need to really improve on. Uh, and, and, and doing it on the road is really good. You know, uh, it, uh, it's something we need for our, our growth and development. It was good experience for our guys in terms of the routine of traveling and all that goes into it, but, um, but it's also nice to, to be back home. You know, I think understanding uh, how important body language is and how we're going to respond when another team goes on a run and the building gets really loud, what people don't probably understand is a crowd in a smaller building uh, is more disruptive than a big crowd in a big building. Um, because it's louder and they're right on top of you. So I think it was good for our guys to, uh, to go through that, uh, that adversity. Uh, obviously, it's, it, it's, we, we want to win the game, you know. Um, uh, it's not good to lose. We, we want to win the game. Um, but whether we win or we lose, we want to have some things we can learn from. And um, we got to use these non-conference games uh, to learn as much as we can to prepare us for the conference. I think it's working out that way, number one, because um, we play four different post players and the minutes that the perimeters are playing is greater than uh, the, the individual minutes of the post. Some of that's because we have depth at the post, some of that's because of foul trouble with the post, and so some of the guys have you know, not played, I don't think any of them have played more than 21 or 22 minutes a game in the post. Um, so it's not something that we're necessarily setting out to do. Uh, we have opportunities for both. We definitely want to get it inside. Um, it probably actually indicates more balance than we think because, um, because those three guys are accounting for 50% of our, of our points and they're accounting for probably 90% of our, our points on the perimeter, which means 50% of our, almost 50% of our points are also uh, coming from our post, but they're being split up. We're fortunate to have that because of the instances where we've had foul trouble. And even some of the games that we've lost, they've, you know, they've been close games. And, um, and you know, there have been times when three of the four of them have been in foul trouble in the first half. And, and so, it, uh, you know, we're fortunate that we have four guys that uh, we feel good about when they're on the floor. And usually there is some level of drop off, but I, I think, you know, at, at any game, the two guys that come off the bench could be the two guys that are playing the best. Uh, or some combination of that. So when you have that, you, you, you know, you're, you're, it's a pretty good thing.